you can't find a strategy that works. In this video, I'm going to teach you the strategy that helped me become a full-time trader and made me $5,000 in two days trading this week. In this video, I'm going to show you the exact trades that I took in the previous two days to make $5,000 trading. Now, as many of you guys know, I only like to take one to two trades max on the day. Most of the time, I usually only take one trade per day, and that's because I like to have high quality trades rather than high quantity. Along with this, I like to finish my day before 11 a.m. Eastern time. And to do this, I really need to ensure that I have the best quality trade so I can finish my day off early and go enjoy the rest of my day so what happened on the first day with tesla so both days i actually did trade tesla now the main problem with tesla nowadays is that liquidity slowly is being minimized and the reason this is is i've been trading tesla for years now and i know for a fact tesla used to move much much nicer and you can make much more profits before than now and so that's just the only problem that i think tesla has recently but i believe this will be mitigated after fomc so let's talk about tesla here what was was I looking at pre-market? Well, it was very simple. Tesla had a consolidation day on the day prior. So we had this high made, and then we also had this consolidation period right here on the bottom. So all I was looking for on Tesla was a break of either side. If Tesla broke to either the upside or downside, I would simply play that direction. And that's how simple I like to keep my trades, right? I was really looking at the higher time frame here. We're on the one hour and Tesla showed me that we're just consolidating so either way we break is the way we're going to break for a bigger move now when we come over to the one minute time frame right before the market opens currently this is 929 we can see that tesla actually broke below this level what does this show us this shows us that sellers are strong enough even pre-market to break this level so what i was waiting for was a very very simple trade all i was waiting for on tesla was for it to show me near this level right here that price action is still weak and it's rejecting this level and i was simply going to take this for the short side because this is already a break and retest from pre-market and this is the opening strategy play as well now how would i be looking for profit targets and where would i put my stop loss this would be determined after the first one minute candle the reason this is is it would allow me to see the price action and see how strong or weak tesla would be on that day and based off that action i can determine my profit target and my stop loss so let's play out tesla to see exactly what happened on this day all right, so as we can see right in the open, this was a very weak candle on Tesla. We see that buyers are trying to bring the stock back up, but we also see that they could not hold it above 271, right? We opened up right here at this level. We try to bring it all the way up, but buyers unfortunately couldn't. Sellers brought it all the way back down to about 268.36 and then we closed it because buyers brought it up to 270.40. This showed me that buyers are too weak to bring the stock up and sellers are in control. So I actually entered on the first one minute candle due to my thesis being so strong and I was simply looking for a profit target at 265. As you guys know, I like the whole psychological numbers and 265 on this stock also aligned with higher time frame pivot level. I put my stop loss for this trade above the one minute high and I entered into this trade here. Here. This trade would have resulted in about a 5.0 risk to reward trade. So when we're looking at about a 5.09 risk to reward trade, to make the $3,500 that I did, I risked on this trade $696, or we can just round up to about $700 with commissions. Now, this is very important to mention how much am I risking because the risk multiple is really how you become a profitable trader. Before understanding risk multiple, you can't really become a profitable trader because you don't understand the amount you can risk. Therefore, in one trade, if you're risking $500 and the next trade you're risking $1,500 and you lose the $1,500 trade, you won't make up that $1,500 for a long time because your risk multiple is always changing. So that's very important to understand how much money you're risking and how many contracts you're actually able to buy. Now let's play out this trade and see exactly how it worked out on this day. Here we can see we made a new low of day, came back up and then just came all the way down here. 
very nicely for a very strong move on Tesla. And I took my full profit here at 265. And this trade lasted till about 946. And I was finished the day at 946. This means I traded for about 16 minutes. However, I did have that pre-market prep, of course, which I recommend everyone to do. And I was done the day. And if you guys do follow me on Instagram, I did review this trade on my story. Now let's go over to the second day on Tesla. Here we are on the second day on Tesla. What did I see on this day? Well, on the higher time frame, there really wasn't much to see on Tesla other than a downtrend. But on the pre-market levels, we saw the pre-market high and pre-market lows. And those are the only levels that I had put on my chart myself. Because for me, I knew that it was still a downtrending day. And I was going to mark out pivot levels as market structure changed to enter into the trade. So on this specific day, I only entered in with pre-market high and pre-market low. So let's play out this trade and see what happens. Right into the beginning of the day, we actually had a very strong move from that pre-market low level all the way up to pre-market high, and this was a very, very strong move. However, I wasn't able to capitalize on this move because my bias was to the downside. Now, as you guys know, I don't recommend coming into the day with bias, and this is you know a small little mistake I did make. However, it did work out in the end, but like I say, don't enter into the day with bias. Just read the price action and enter on price action. As we can see here, I could have easily been done the day if I didn't have that bearish bias going into the day. But let's keep playing out this trade and see what I did to actually trade on this day. Okay, so right here, what do we see? We actually see a higher low being put in on this stock right here. What does this show us? Well, if this stock breaks this higher low, this actually shows us that we can have a bearish signal. Notice how I didn't FOMO into this bullish move all the way up to pre-market high. Now, would I have been done the day? Yes. However, I was waiting for my bearish entry. And this bias caused me to, yes, not finish the day as fast as I could have, but I was still not going to FOMO into anything until I saw a proper setup form. And for me, a proper setup would have formed if broke this higher low that we just actually formed came back down and then retested this low if we retested this low and could not break to the upside and price action showed me that we were weak here this was an easy short opportunity for me because i knew that on the higher time frame we're still bearish and this shows that we are breaking market structure to the downside so let's see what happened on this trade and right here, this couldn't have been a better setup. We see that higher low, we see the break and a very strong break added as well. And then a retest with an inverted hammer candle, or you can also consider this a shooting star candle. This was a very, very A plus entry for me. And the way I entered it is I put my stop loss a little bit above this lower high at the body of that candle that made the lower high and my profit target at low of day, because that's where I like to put my profit targets, low of day, high of day, or whole psychological numbers as we can see here this trade was a 2.91 risk to reward trade on this specific day i did make 2081 dollars so to make 2081 dollars with a 2.91 risk to reward trade i was once again risking 715 dollars so around the same 700 dollar mark that i risked on my previous trade so as we can see my risk multiple stays the same now i am risking less this week just because i did expect a little bit more chop that's why my risk multiple is only only about $715, but let's see how this trade worked out for us. And as we can see here, this trade worked out extremely well. We hit our profit target, new low of day, and I was done the day once again at 9.52, so a little bit over half an hour into the day. So those are the two trades that I took this week to make about $5,000 trading. If you guys do want to see my PL every day and the trade reviews that I do, make sure to go on my Instagram. I always review those trades on my Instagram story. However, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys see what type of setups that I like to trade. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video.